your eyes closed? Yes, okay. my eyes are closed. Don't open them. You sound like you're very out of breath. There's a little bit of water in here. I haven't put the soil in. You haven't put the soil in yet. Hmm? You still needs a little bit of work. But... Okay. Can I open my eyes up? No. Oh. Okay, you can open your eyes now. <gasps> oh my god! Now, here's the thing. These are our old totes. I put new totes okay. in there. But there's gonna be a bar on them. Oh, I am so excited! <gasps> so I pumped it out. So you have holes that go through, and this is the rain last night, so. Oh, okay. But see, no water can get into this tub. Okay. These will be filled with dirt, and there's a cross member. Actually, I think I can get something. It's not, you know, I'll, I'll finish it up and sand it down a little better, but. Uh-huh. We're gonna have this in the middle. Okay. To kind of like, it'll be in the middle. <gasps> oh, So you have two you your herbs on one side, you have tomatoes on one side. I am so excited. I can't wait. And this is all, seed. I bought cedar on the top, so it smells like cedar. So the whole thing is made out of cedar. Wow. How did you get the totes in there? Can you just squish them in there? Well, I, this, these, these come off. Oh. So I can get new totes. It's oh. just, I, this is an, it's going to be covered with dirt anyway. Mm, I'm so you want excited. Totes. I can't wait. Come on. This is so sweet. Well, you know, I'll fix it. I think the shiny. This one. cedar looks beautiful. I know, isn't did it? Did you, nice? did you, um. I just peeled the veneer and put the. You stained it? Yeah, it's, it has the outdoor stuff. Oh. Or get black toast, whatever. So, I love it. We're here at Mason Farms to pick out my mom's um, um, plants for the garden that we're making. And we, and we can't decide which one. We have sweet peppers, pimento, and we got, what are these? Well, this one already has a pepper on it. <laughs> We're at the tomato section. Is that a better boy over here? Yeah. <laughs> a yellow tomato. That's weird. It looks like a pumpkin. The thing that's that shooting out the water. This makes me wet. <laughs> I got all wet again. Are you good? Yeah, I'm gonna go stand there this time. Get it, wait, let's take over. Ah. We're finding herbs. Okay, we got a red and Golden flowers. Smell the cilantro. Valerie. Oh man, I can smell that strong stuff in there. I think purple bees will taste the same as little one, right? I don't even know what bees will taste like. You just ate basil that you didn't wash. Doesn't taste like basil though. How you know it? That is uh -huh. weird. Why do you do that? That's more basil -y. All right. Yesterday, Sean was saying how he pulled an Ingles. He pulled an Ingles by making me a homemade anniversary gift with, I actually appreciate and feel more special when something is made like that and so much hard work and labor and, and dedication went to it. So pull Ingles anytime. I, I got this last time and the plants didn't look too good. Oh, so it's not good? It's not good. It's like almost like a mulch. Oh, I see. It's supposed to be good, but it's almost like it wasn't done. Uh-oh. I'm only gonna put a little bit of that one in there. So this was not great. I, I really don't, when it's just that, I don't like just that. That's why I didn't buy just one soil. It's uh, cheap. Mm -hmm. But I'll put a little bit of it because it's just a little bit this, Oh yeah, it kind of is rocky. Yeah, it does look Oh. The best one I think is that. This one? This one's the best Miracle one. Grow. It wasn't terribly expensive, but it's, it's just much better for pots. According to Sean's review, not that great. Great. I thought not that great. Great. So this and this this stinky stuff with this well drained stuff would be good. It's like you're cooking soil. <laughs> cooking 
this one. Mm -hmm. This turned out really nice. Yes, yeah, cedar. The center part. They were like, how much was it? Like $10 for like 12 feet or something. Mm. Pretty economic. Mm -hmm. It smells really good. Like Things were made out of our old table, dinner table that we used to have. We saved the legs. Finally, it got used. This was Sean's little find. It, had, it was a chest that was veneered with black. It's a cedar chest that was veneered with black. The back still has the veneer, so he went was, and he peeled it off. It was free. It was free, which makes it even better. See, I like this combination. It has this, these little, like, vermiculite balls. Mm. That helps to drain it. We're only gonna what do we got here? We're doing two of the large red cherry tomatoes. Poblano peppers. These so are a little bit lower. I don't want to put them too close to the tomatoes. Take the biggest ones. This one's already got like a pepper on it. <laughs> yeah. Take this, probably put this far from the tomato. It's kind of a medium, so towards the back. Look at the pepper on this. Look at that. Where? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, how cute. Now, are these spicy? These are, I don't think these are spicy. They're kind of mild. Okay. They have a kind of like Ooh, what's this? Dish. This is thyme. Ooh, thyme. So we're going to take this. I always just buy that. Now I get to have it. We'll put this right on the kind of the front area here. This will kind of grow up and around. It's going to get bigger. I love oregano. I love the oregano. oregano. We'll put it over on this side. Somewhere right here. You know? Put this one up in the front because this one's going to be. Oh, what's that? This is basil. But it's like the purple. Purple one. basil? It's I've never had purple basil before. I've only ever had green basil. Called, I didn't even know purple basil existed. This one's called um, Rosie. Rosie. Salad, sauces, vinegars, ornamental. But you can use it, you can eat it, or you can just plant it. Well, if, if we're gonna put it, I'm gonna eat it. Yeah, you'll probably eat it. We're gonna get big, so it might look a little bit sparse right now. Mm -hmm. But it's gonna get big. Basil doesn't like to be like, all separated, remember? Remember that time we tried to separate them? Oh yeah. You just just keep them as a bunch of here like that. You have your cilantro too. I'm so excited about the cilantro. Cilantro grows happy. For as the soil makes the sprout come up, and a garden causes seeds to grow. So the Sovereign Lord will make righteousness and praise spring up before all nations. Isaiah 61 11. Thank you so much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye!